when you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality. Who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Hi, I'm John Mallison. Welcome to this edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. This, ladies and gentlemen, is episode 401. It is a taped program, so no phone calls today. We usually have callers call in, but today it's on the air, off the presses. We're going to be talking about a brand new magazine. Well, it's not that new. It's been on the shelf for about a year or so. I'm going to show you the back of it. I'm going to tease you a little bit. We're back with our guest and talk about this new magazine in just a moment. And welcome back to the program here on Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. We're on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6, but unfortunately we're not live today, so no phone calls. Yes, you're a very important part of the program, but today is a special program that we uh, had to put on tape, and so we're back live tomorrow on Tuesday to talk about Obamacare. We'll have a specialist in the studio tomorrow to talk about uh, what's going on with Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act, if that's what you want to call it. So we'll talk about all kinds of things tomorrow and certainly all kinds of things on this day on our tape program. By the way, episode 401 here on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. And today it's on the air, off the presses, talking about a very interesting magazine. It came out about a year ago. You might be familiar with it. I will show you the back of it first and kind of tease you a little bit and then ooh, quickly flip it over. Yes, it's called Fresno Life Magazine. And look who's on the front cover, the mayor. By the way, we're still trying to get the mayor to agree to come on this program. We have not reached an agreement yet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the front cover of this month's issue. Check it out. The latest cover of Fresno Life magazine. It's on your local newsstands right now as we speak. The front cover for November and December. It features the one and only Christmas Tree Lane. This magazine is all about Fresno. The mission of those in charge is to focus on the positive things here in the Central Valley, telling the stories about the movers and shakers of our community, like Dr. Joseph Castro, the new president at Fresno State, and his wife Mary. You can see that right at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen there. You'll see features from uh, Faith Sidlow, Mike Scott, and the PAG meter himself, Nick Papagni. The magazine will celebrate its one-year anniversary in December. You're looking at the seventh issue. It comes out every other month. Live in our studio right now is Karen Marut. She is the publisher of Fresno Life magazine. She's been on the job a mere three months, ladies and gentlemen. And you might recognize the name because she was formerly the head of Tree Fresno. And now she is in charge, the publisher of this Fresno Life magazine. We'll talk to her about what it took to launch this thing about a year ago, even though she wasn't involved, and what it takes to run it. And, you know, they say when you start a business, it'll take, what, four or five years before you, you know, you, you, you hit the ground running and, and, you know, everything is full steam ahead. We'll talk to her about that aspect and what this magazine, what the focus is for Fresno Life magazine. Sorry, once again, no phone calls on this day. This is a taped program. And by the way, Mayor Swearingen, if you're watching, you have a standing open invitation to come on this program. Back with our guest in just a moment. Now, why don't you tell us the whole story right from the beginning? All right, from the beginning. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. My name's Friday. I carry a badge. Police officers. You any idea who the other man was? My partner's Bill Gannon. Program? 
I got just one big question. Yeah, when? Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. I don't know how much we can get into this today, but earlier, uh, well, a few years ago, there was, I don't even know if it was a few years ago, I guess memory does not serve me well at this point, but there was a magazine out there called Fresno Magazine. Uh, we might, I might ask our guest about that today. It has nothing to do with this magazine, though. It's called Fresno Life Magazine. Karen Marut is here now, the publisher. How are you, Karen? I'm fine, John. It's good to see you. You don't want to shake hands with me? I do want to shake oh, hands with you. Oh, careful there. into a microphone there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Oh, okay. Thank you. Careful. They'll knock it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell us about Fresno Life Magazine. You are the publisher, but you've only been on the job for, for three months. How did this magazine get started? Well, um, there were some, some actually employees that used to work for the old Fresno Magazine that felt it was important to move forward with a community publication. They got together and found an investor and uh, worked very hard to put this magazine out to the community. And uh, it was really doing well. Who are the investors, by the way? Can uh, you name them? Uh, sh sure, it's the Anderson family. They uh, really believe in uh, doing good things for this community. And it has been truly a labor of love <laughs> because, as everyone knows, publications do struggle um, with you know keeping the uh, books balanced. It's very expensive to publish uh, anything like this. What does this? it cost to publish a magazine like this? It's, it's very insightful. Mm -hmm. It's lighthearted to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. You don't do a lot of hard news stories, but you try to focus on some of the positive. We'll talk about mm -hmm. that in just a moment. But let's say on a, every other month, what does it cost to, to send this to the publication? Well, I mean, just the raw cost, if you add uh, writers, uh, the printing, uh, the photographers, and uh, just your your rent, your desks, your internet service, everything is about uh, thirty thousand dollars. Oh issue. my goodness! Yes. Thirty. <laughs> so Close this to. issue right here that I'm holding up, which will show, is about a thirty thousand dollar proposition that I'm holding in my hand. It hands absolutely here. is. Now, what? And I how many copies do you publish? Uh, um, at, actually, right now we're up to twenty thousand. Um, twenty thousand, and that's 000. every other month. That's every other month. Yes. So if it costs, th so you've got to be clearing quite a bit of money there to just just mm -hmm. to just to break just even to break even and we're uh, we actually weren't at that breaking even point for the entire year but the family uh, decided to stay the course um, they were actually thinking about uh, still in the red down. now still in the red okay. uh, but we're actually getting close to getting in the black um, one of the things that we learned from our research when I got involved uh, Orange County uh, decided to do something different with their publications and instead of making their publication uh, smaller they actually made it bigger so okay. with the Christmas tree lane issue we have expanded to 80 pages which allows us more opportunity for uh, more in-depth stories so the Christmas tree lane article itself is eight pages long yeah we'll and, talk about yeah. that in just a moment but I want to get back to the publishing aspect why does it cost mm -hmm. so much well you've got uh, your just your basic overhead of uh, taking care of your writers taking care of your photographers and the the real cost is in the printing press and in the mailing especially the color mm -hmm. yes you're doing color right yes we're doing color and uh, imagine with 80 pages and then mailing is very expensive as well so it's really important though to uh, to the family that that began this magazine they wanted to keep it going the Anderson family. the Anderson family yes but they were they were a little frustrated with not uh, not showing anything in the black so we do believe we're turning that corner we're getting very close actually to turning the corner with this issue so what do you have to do go out and pound the pavement to get sales yes you actually do and you have to have people understand the story and and the value uh, what's really wonderful about a magazine publication and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it in a doctor's office dentist's office uh, or possibly uh, in an attorney's office you go to sit in these offices and you look for something to read well it's very nice to read something about your local community there's so much going on so many stories that could be told here in this community that we wanted to just focus on, you know, what is going on in our valley, who are the movers and shakers, like you said. Also, but, but uh, Karen, but mm -hmm. Karen, a magazine, mm -hmm. uh, now, now this cover right here, look at this cover here. Yeah. Okay. This has to have something interesting in it. Absolutely. For people to yes. read, and that way you'll get the advertisers. Isn't that right? It's like this program. If we don't have interesting guests, if we Absolutely. don't have interesting topics, no mm -hmm. one's going to watch and you know fortunately we do but isn't it the same thing here 
Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely, the editorial is cornerstone to any magazine. So that's why we wanted to beef up the editorial and add more stories and add more personalities as well. So you'll see with the Christmas tree lane right. issue, we've brought uh, Faith Sidlow on board and many people know and love her. Right. We saw her every morning on KC24. And we also brought Mike Scott on um, and he's talking about pets. And then now, the they, pag are meter. Are they freelance writers or are they full time? No, they're all free ran, uh, free wants, freelance writers. Freelance writers. And what's so okay. nice about that is that allows us to keep our costs down. So we're just focused on them writing a story. Also, a freelance writer. Um, we have another free, freelance writer who's amazing, who's very into sports, and he writes about uh, the Bulldogs I know who he for is. us. Nick. Papagni. Yes, Papagni yes. <laughs> he's been on a guest on this program many, many, many yeah, times. Yeah, he's and very so, passionate about yes, our local is. sports scene. And that's what we were looking for. We were looking for writers that were truly engaged in the community and understood um, you know, what was going on in our community and have a heart for, for the Central Valley. Yeah. And you'll see in this particular issue, uh, the co cover story, uh, Living on the Lane, Tales from the Lane, uh, was written by Dr. Kelly Campos McCoy. She's a journalism um, instructor professor at uh, California State University Fresno and she went and interviewed over 10 families on the lane and some of the stories are absolutely heartwarming so I think people will really enjoy. How do you decide um, what's going to go in the magazine? Something do you do you how, how, do you sit down and say okay mm -hmm. what's going to be titillating or what's going to be interesting mm -hmm. or what's going to be informative? How do you decide because those are we actually have established now an editorial advisory board, and that includes people with years of experience in the media. So, um, Who's on that board? Well, Faith Sidlow's on that board. Okay. Mike Scott is on that board, and they've both been uh, with competing stations. Um, myself, Dr. Bradley Wadge, and also Dr. Kelly Campos McCoy, who is a journalism instructor, uh, as is Faith Sidlow at uh, Fresno State. So they have extensive journalism experience. And it really is nice to be able to bounce off those ideas. And then the rest of the staff also is very involved. The advisory board will make the ultimate approval of what will go or won't go in the magazine. Uh, but the staff comes with lots of ideas. And then our readers even send ideas. Hey, we want you to cover this. So if there's uh, someone that has a wonderful story that someone feels or believes needs to be told, we're very open to, uh, to listening to what they have to say. Yeah. We're talking with Karen Marucci, who is the publisher of this, Fresno Life magazine. I, this is not the only cover that I have or magazine I have. I've got this one, too. This is uh, from, uh, uh, what was it? That's what August, month? September. Okay, this is August and September. Anyway, a good-looking magazine. We'll uh, talk more with uh, Karen in just a moment about uh, this magazine and uh, how she sees this magazine flourishing, possibly in the future. Back with our program. No phone calls today. Sorry about that. We're on tape. We're back in a moment. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Samsung big screen we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an HD 3D web-enabled Samsung TV. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. back here with the publisher of Fresno Life magazine. I'm holding a couple of copies here. We have several here on the desk and we're going to go through some of these. But uh, uh, let me ask you something. What makes you think this magazine will make it? There was another magazine that did not, mm -hmm. went out of business, Fresno magazine. Correct. And for the life of me, I forget the woman's name who was in charge of it. She was the owner of the pub. What was her name? I believe it's Melanie Warner. Melanie Warner. Yes. That's right. Slipped my mind. So that magazine was... You know, obviously out for several years. Mm -hmm. Don't know exactly how many. Uh, to my understanding, it's no longer in existence. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they had financial problems or what the deal was. What makes you think this magazine will make it? I think what's going to make this particular magazine make it is the true soul and heart behind it. The players that are involved. We have a lot of people that are passionate. I'm, I'm involved and at this point I'm not anticipating any return for myself personally. I see this as more of a service for our community and if we're telling the stories, uh, one of the stories that I'm really proud of besides the Christmas Tree Lane story is uh, our 
article about giving. It's uh, about giving um, to those community benefit organizations that you love, how to select the right one. But we're going to be focusing on those types of organizations. Every issue you'll see um, possibly something about Make a Wish, Wish Foundation. Uh, there's so many, you know, Path Performing Above the High, uh, Pain Prescription Abusers in Need. There's so many um, organizations out there doing good for our community. So we want to make this a magazine that really speaks to what's happening in this town who's doing something really wonderful for us uh, those stories those heartfelt stories that people actually engage in and want to be part of but do you feel compelled to to delve into some of the more serious issues like maybe crime gangs drugs politics at city hall we may uh, but at this point i think we want to focus on it's more of a lifestyle and entertainment magazine okay so uh, we might focus on some serious health issues and things like that um, if there was a really interesting story about crime, um, you know, that might might be something. But I think for the most part, uh, I'll give you an example. In our January issue, we'll be featuring an incredible jazz musician here in town. Her name is Jeanette Harris. Okay. She plays the saxophone, um, born and raised in Fresno, and she's in the top 10 of the jazz charts internationally. That's a great story. And I don't is think that people a story really understand that's been that. written yet for your magazine or not? No, it has not it has been written not. in the magazine. How old is she? Uh, you know, she's in, I believe, in her late 20s. Okay, and she's here in Fresno? She's here in Fresno, uh, born and raised. Make a great story. Yeah, and she's just a lovely person and uh, doing wonderful. And it's Now, how did you find out about her? And well, how do you find out about <laughs> some of the other stories? That's a funny story, but um, because I've been very active and involved in our community, um, I was doing a benefit for the Fresno Art Museum uh, Kenny G came to town and I was the producer for that event. And uh, Jeanette's father, this was about 12 years ago, called me and said, I found out you're producing this show and you need to meet my daughter. And I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, okay, so he was so convincing. I said, you know, let's, let's meet. And he showed me her, her pictures. He showed me uh, copies of her music, her press release. And I just looked at him and I said, you have an incredibly talented young woman here. And he goes, I know. And I said, well, how do we, how do we make this work? He goes, I don't know, but she needs to meet Kenny G. And I said, I agree, because they both play the tenor sax. So um, it worked out that the benefit dinner before the concert where Kenny G would have been eating dinner with us, I said, why well, have an idea? How about if you play for the dinner? So Jeanette and her band played for that dinner wow. 12 years ago when she got to meet Kenny G. Wow. So when's that story going to appear in the magazine? Uh, that story is going to appear in the January, February issue. Great. It's also our singles issue. So anybody single out there uh, that wants to be in the magazine, uh, Definitely look us up because maybe we're going to have a get, singles issue. Maybe you can convince her to come on this program and be a guest. I think she'd love to. You yeah. should have her play her music. It, it yeah, will be nice. truly knock your socks right. off. We'll talk to you after the show. Okay. About All right. So so the Anderson family, they, they own this magazine. They own the rights to it and everything else. How long will they stick it out before they say, hey, look, you know, we're losing money, we're losing money, we're losing money? Well, we're going to, we've both committed to a year. Okay. We both committed to and another year. And it's been a year. year. It's uh, been well, a year. In, in, in December, it'll be a year. Yes, yeah, so we have another year, and uh, we're already turning the corner. We're getting very close to being in the black. We had a lot of advertisers come forward. They're if, liking the if direction. If they're not close to being in the black, or close to being in the black, I should say, with the thirty grand, okay, that mm -hmm. it costs uh, every other month to, to produce this thing uh, and send it to print, will they keep it going? I don't know. Even if they're not in the black, you know what? they're close if, to it? Close to. You know what we'd probably do is I think I'd consider maybe making it a non-profit or non-for-profit a community service uh, type right. situation where we could write grants and then maybe do some more in-depth stories. Because really Fresno and the Central Valley has no other magazine but this right now, right? Well, there is a magazine that uh, comes out in the B as well, Central Valley Magazine. So well, I know, but I'm talking about separate from the current media. No, there There's really no isn't. There's no separate no, issue no. of, say, Fresno Magazine or Central Valley Magazine or anything like no, that. No, there's that's not separate, really a venue. Like independent. So yeah. we believe very strongly that the advertisers will come forward. And they are. I mean, I'm getting phone calls already of folks that have seen this next issue and say, wow, we really like the content. And then actually the January issue will be going to 90 pages. So we're going to have lots of room so for from, advertising and stories. From 
from 56, 56 to 90 yes in, in just a couple of months in two issues yes yeah, in two issues okay and you have a full-time salesperson right we have a full-time salesperson uh, myself and then we have some wonderful interns that work with us as well from fresno state so we yeah, have they're here really behind good. the scenes yes they are today. behind the they scenes company, they drove you here to the studio <laughs> yes no, they I'm take kidding. good care I'm of me <laughs> i'm just teasing you know i know you karen maroon is yeah. our guest here from fresno life magazine and it's a good looking magazine and we're going to go through some photo galleries when we come back after a brief time out remember ladies and gentlemen episode 401 today is on tape no phone calls sorry about that back in just a moment when you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality who has the answers the selection the price Ventura TV appliance with billions in nationwide appliance buying power more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. <sighs> we knew we were there somewhere. We're back here having too much fun on the set of Connect With Me. Remember, no phone calls today. Sorry about that, but this is episode 401. It's on tape, and we're talking about Fresno Life Magazine uh, today, a very special day. And I want to put up some photo galleries, um, Karen, if I could. Let's do the front cover photo gallery first. And we can see some of these uh, front covers that uh, you have produced. And, of course, we've seen that one with Ashley Swearingen. By the way, the article on uh, Ashley Swearingen, I did not read I haven't had a chance to read it. Mm -hmm. What does she talk about in the article? She's really talking about her vision uh, for this community, a lot of the you know downtown vision. And of mm -hmm. course, that was before I was involved, and I did yeah. read it. But um, well, you know really what they're doing the with the Fulton Mall, right? Yes, Obviously, absolutely. they're tearing that mm -hmm. out and rebuilding and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And uh, did did you have easy access to the mayor? Absolutely, she was very. You did. Mm -hmm. Well, then why don't you convince her to come on this program? I think I'll have to, we'll have to give her a call. <laughs> all right, there's another cover right there. You can mm -hmm. look at that. That was about the Rogue Festival, which uh, if anybody's been to that, that is an incredible festival every year. And, the mm -hmm. Tower District. Okay, and this is obviously fashion. Mm -hmm. And that is at the Forestier Underground Gardens. Yeah. Yes. Oh, really? The Underground and Gardens. The Underground Gardens, and they've been on guest here on this program as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one is right there. Oh, that, yeah, that's, a, you know, all the famous food trucks here in town. Um, it was really a, an article just about all the great eateries that are on wheels in this community. How many are there? You know, from, well, there's several, but there's some real famous ones. I'd say there's about six or seven that are very notable. There's some right? dusty buns and things like that. Downtown <laughs> area or where? Well, they move around. You'll see them really? at farmer's markets, uh, downtown, a lot of uh, events. But Probably uh, lunchtime around the lunchtime. courthouse. And it's really a phenomenon, not just yeah. in the Central Valley, but L.A. as well. Okay, what's this one about here? Oh, that is about the boomerang generations, people that leave the community and come back. <laughs> <laughs> Once you leave, Fresno is embedded into your system, your yes, brain. Yes, it is. And so somehow it, you keep steering back this way. Oh, your, it, there's like a homing all, pigeon. I know. It's, like <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way to describe it. There's no question about it. So this is about people who, uh, born and raised here, they left, mm -hmm. and suddenly... They're back. They're back. And, well, the director of the Fresno Chaffee Jew, uh, Zoo, Zoo, yeah. yeah. They, uh, he, is from, um, he is from the valley, left and came back. There, you'll see a lot of uh, real movers and shakers in this community. All right, here's a story idea for back. you. Here's mm -hmm. a story idea. Uh, why do they come back? What's the, what's the draw? What does Fresno have that keeps drawing them back? Did you get that part of it? Well, think about it. Think what? about it. You've what got is the draw? Family. You've got your family here. Okay, Everything that you, be, your memories. That could be any place, though. You could be in New York, and you could it could draw you back. But what does Fresno have specifically that it draws these people back? I think it's a way of life. I mean, th look at the ease of driving in Fresno. We forget right. how and the how, weather in the weather how comfortable things are here. You know that yes, there are difficult things in our community, but we can change that. But look at the neighborhoods, right. the old friends. Um, you can go to point A to point B in this community in 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. That you can't yeah. do that in L.A. <laughs> right. 
So let's go to another photo gallery inside the magazine, my friends, inside the magazine. And here we are. What are we looking at here, Karen? Well, this is our, uh, our latest issue, the, the August-September issue. And we basically talk about the roller derby, uh, the roller derby, the uh, Forster Underground Gardens, a real nice article on Fresno State. And what's really exciting is to see where Fresno State is going, you know, 17th with the new, with in the, the nation. the new president, of course, Absolutely. Joseph Castro. Absolutely, yes. And yes. his wife is very involved as Mary? well, Mary Castro. Yes, Mary. Very involved in the in, uh the Fresno State Athletics. Another story program. inside one of your magazine. Uh, that is the Forrester Underground Gardens. Um, uh, we have a wonderful um, fashion editor, Silva, and she uh, has gone out to a lot of local boutiques and areas. She has a real sense of style, and uh, she arranges all of our photo shoots and oh, fashion sections. Look at that! Look at that! Hey, some sexy-looking uh, photos here in one of the issues, and that's at the Underground Gardens as well. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, no question about it. And, oh, look at that, a food section inside the magazine. <laughs> yes, we have a wonderful food <laughs> editor as well. And Amy goes out, and she's the taster. She gets to go to all these wonderful restaurants and taste their, you know, their wonderful food and talk about them. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Any more? Yeah, what's this one about here? Hocus oh, Pocus. That, that is about uh, music. Uh, we cover different types of or music. No, that's not Hocus Pocus. I'm sorry. I misspoke. <laughs> that's all right. What is that? What is that? What is that's that? just indie music, my indie nation. Um, the music gotcha. article there okay. talked about all different right. music. All right. We actually right. have a new sponsor, which is helping us to survive. Uh, iHeartRadio is sponsoring the yeah. magazine ongoing. So. I need to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm looking at here. Ladies uh, <laughs> who, who are on, Yeah, ladies who crunch. My goodness. It's talking about our roller derby, and that was a fun article. And, uh, They're a great bunch of people <laughs> yes, over there. They, they are. are. They are. They were, they were a guest here. They were thrilled to be in the magazine, and it's fun. I didn't even actually know we had a roller derby until I saw the story. Really? So I had yeah. no idea. Yeah. They're fun people. And another inside story here. Uh, this and that. We have every section of the magazine right in the beginning. There'll be a this and that about, you know, just things you never thought about. And here's something for the next issue. I bet people didn't know this, but. Hanukkah and Thanksgiving fall on the same day this wow, year, and it won't happen for that. another 70 plus thousand wow, years. Wow. Go well, figure. We won't be around. See, these are these, you know, random facts. Here's another inside story. Uh, this is a story about this wonderful group of guys that have this art uh, art studio downtown Fresno so that's definitely one you want to read and if if you didn't get a copy of the issue I want everybody to know our new website's going up uh, this Monday what's the web address it is fresnolifemag.com okay and so this uh, this issue that you're seeing online uh, seeing on the air right now will be online and then our holiday issue will be up in about two weeks uh, this article here uh, obviously about Fresno yes, State. yes it is football and uh, there's a lot, lot to say about Fresno State football, and you'll see more from us on that topic as well oh, in the Derek future. Derek Carr up there, as I yes, see up he in is. the other upper left-hand corner, right? Yep, is that we'll him? See, yeah, yeah, that is. And let's see if these, these young men make it to, uh, to a bowl game this year. All right, and we have another one here. Uh, children's Musical Theater Works. Um, there's a lot of incredible theater. Corey Ralston writes about our theater arts. And uh, matter of fact, just talked to him yesterday. He's got a lot of great ideas ongoing. So right. if you're in theater and you want to be covered in the magazine, let us know what you're up to. Pretend I'm an advertiser. Okay. And you have 30 seconds of my time. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Oh, you're putting sell the me, pressure on me. Sell me on this magazine. Why, why should I advertise in this magazine? Because the reader consists of women ages of 25 to 50 years old. Okay. Uh, with buying power and spending power. So if you are looking to show your products to someone uh, that is going to, you know, have disposable income, this is your magazine. Also, a magazine stays around longer than a newspaper or a website. It stays on your counter. It stays on your shelf. Sometimes people keep magazines for years. The Christmas Tree Lane issue. Well, what's the appeal about this? Put up the Christmas Tree Lane well, photo the, if we the could, appeal, real quick before, we, before um, we go. Is it's a keeper. You know, a lot of times you'll keep magazines, uh, you'll keep magazines on your shelf, you'll keep magazines on your coffee table, and yeah. you don't want to throw them away. It's especially if it's got something really good in it. Yeah, so, and that's the latest issue coming out yes. November, December. Christmas That'll be on the lane. shelves this, this week, actually. Right, right. So and where can you get it real you quick? You can get it at the Market, Whole Foods, or Christina's Natural Ranch Market. Can you have it mailed to your house? You can have it mailed to your house. You call us and we'll get you a subscription. It's $12 for the year. Okay, $12 for the entire year yes. for seven issues, right? For six no, issues. No, six issues. Six issues. Sorry about that. Uh, 
And Two dollars an issue. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, that's not too bad. Karen Maru, thank you, sir. thank you very much for coming on the program, mm -hmm. and good you. luck with Fresno Life Magazine. I appreciate you. Come back again. I okay? will. We'll have some good stories for you. Okay, we'll do. That's going to do it for us today on Connect With Me on Me TV Fresno. Make sure and go out and check out the magazine. You can buy it at three different places. That's going to do it. Our thanks to Karen Marut, the publisher. Back tomorrow, talking about Obamacare. Have a great day. like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Frigidaire Gallery appliances we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool and it's a good place to start, but you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an Energy Star qualified French Door Frigidaire Gallery Refrigerator. Quality appliances for the way you live. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise.